All right, and welcome back everyone to Manor Lords. We are playing our, this is the official playthrough. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the first two videos, I, uh, due to how that whole thing went, not knowing certain things about like market distribution and lo the logistics in this game and kind of getting a feel for them uh, in their entirety, that, that playthrough was doomed <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> it was pretty bad. But we are here in a very, very nice looking village. Like, honestly speaking, this is actually looking really freaking cool. Um, probably not as historically accurate as some people might uh, want, but you know what? We're going for we're going for a good vibe here. I, I like this vibe a lot. So we need to get our plank production up and running as quickly as possible. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna do some a little bit here. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to make sure that we just keep increasing our uh, planks. Um, something that I learned uh, from actually looking up a few things: planks are probably one of the biggest consumed resource in the game. Uh, you need to have a ridiculous amount of production for them. Um, and as such, we definitely want to get a second logging camp up and running as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get that rolling. Let's try to uproot as few trees as possible. Uh, okay, so logging camp, extra saw pit. And let's go ahead and get, let's get a couple more stables up and running as well. Uh, or well. Kitchen posts, which then we will upgrade into stables. No, we actually can't build that. That's kind of funny. But we do need to get the uh, personal treasury um, flowing as well. And we also need to get the manor so we can start getting some more influence. We're kind of just waiting. We want to claim. Uh, we want to claim this territory next because uh, the rich iron deposit uh, will be a great boon to us. Um, we're, we're starting to bring in enough hides that we're not having any problems in that regard. Let's call the boys. Where are we going? We're going down here. Boys, we are fighting to go do. All right, send the boys down. quick let's assess this situation here what's our trade situation looking like so do we have the trades going for large shields and spears yet no we do not we're going to preempt these because we're going to keep producing spears and uh, and large shields because those are our primary militia units uh, so let's go with a surplus of 20 and then export surplus of 20. And so then as soon as the production on the uh, uh, joiners and the blacksmiths start ramping up, we'll be able to get those. And then we also need to get war bows up and running as well. So let's go ahead and, oh, we need more planks. Okay, of course, we need more planks. Of course, of course, of course. Um, Because what will we do without planks? All right, so the enemy is our, the enemy army is moving quickly, but we'll definitely beat them. And with our numbers, we'll be able to kill these bandits pretty quickly. So we're looking good. We're looking good. Uh, we have a lot of unused families. Ah, and we are officially in November. Damn it. I miss this. Well, it's not like it really matters because that stuff's not up and running yet. Yeah, it'll be fine. We're slowly getting a supply of stuff in. Let's make sure somebody's on the malt house. Do we have the trade for barley coming in? No, we do not. Okay. Um, we need to set this up. And then we'll just go for a surplus of 20. We're gonna, 
we're going to try to ramp up our trade. Right now, our biggest problem is, is just getting trade up and running so that we can sustain stuff. You come back here. I need the influence. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. Let's go get the gold. Alright, let's get that into our treasury, and then let's get these guys back over here. Alright, berries. We'll take those guys off of there now. We need that that very high priority right now. Uh, he's claiming it. Lovely. Well, there's nothing we can really do. We can't really oppose it. Probably going to need another woodcutter as well, so let's go ahead and get that up and running. We're just waiting for these guys to get back so we can disband them and get them back into the economy. I want a 10 log reserve. I want you guys on logs. Goats, goats for days. All the goats. So we're maintaining we're maintaining a supply of hides. We're maintaining a supply of malt, which is good. We can probably shrink this down to a supply of ten. So I think we're doing pretty good on that. As long as, as long as beer is flowing, that's all I care about. And then we need, we're going to need these hitching posts to get upgraded to stables. We're just going to put another one right here. Basically, we just want as many oxen as we can to move logs around for our uh, saw pits. into a stable and then we sh tannery processing hides with just one or okay we have surplus hides so let's get an extra per uh, person on the tannery going no we just need we just need planks that's all we need is we need planks uh, 
49 out of uh, 48 out of 49. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get some more since we're since we're doing good on the hides right now. Let's go ahead and get some more chicken coops. Me's be thinking. I'm gonna make these sized just right. Yeah, I think that's about as good as we're gonna do. All right, let's get some more chicken coops up and running so that we have that consistent food supply. Because right now we're, we're, we're maintaining a supply of eggs, but we need a lot more eggs in order to be able to have them contribute properly. Because if we look here, like we're, we're good across the board, but a couple of these places need extra food things, uh, the clothing situation, you know, of course the beer is kind of a problem, but the brewery is probably gonna be the first one we upgrade. Uh, to level three, just to be able to get that. So, all right, we've got another ox now, which is nice. That's gonna further increase our production. Oh, why were these paused? Interesting. Okay, I was, I was like, why aren't these building? <laughs> What's happening right now? All right, so we got 49, uh, 49 out of 49, but we'll have these up and running relatively quickly because of the uh, because of the number of builders we've got. So that's good. You know what? Let's go ahead and just make sure that these are fully staff stables. We got the excess population. We can take them off later when we need to do harvesting and whatnot. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. All right. So we literally just need three level three plots. We're gonna do the brewery, cobbler shop, We'll focus these ones to level three to make sure that we have oh our oh no our problem is not because we have plenty of shoe or almost plenty of shoes so we definitely need to upgrade the cobbler shop but we just don't have enough leather that's our biggest issue oh, oh what why, were, why was nobody on this okay that's that's a major freaking problem Okay, readjust, readjust. Oh boy, I did not realize. I was like, wait, why is our firewood supply just dropping precipitously? All right, so the church is upgraded. So now people are uber happy. Um, the brewery can actually go up to the next level now. So we need to get that upgraded soon. But we also need to get the manor built which we need planks in order to do, and we're not getting planks in. And then this granary is literally just going to be for storing grain and uh, flour. That's all this granary is going to be for, um, just so that uh, the storage on this doesn't uh, overfill, potentially. You know, I don't think it. I, I don't think we should have any problems, but just in case. And it was kind of free to a degree. <laughs> it's a free large granary. <laughs> Technically speaking, we didn't have to upgrade it. We just had to build, rebuild it. So.
we do need to get the uh, the wealth up though. Um, yeah, we literally just need more planks. That's all we're lacking. Let's get the uh, the Fletcher shop up and running so we can start making archers. Can't do it yet, but we'll set up a trade for those. How many ox do we have right now? We have nine out of ten. All right, it is March. Let's go ahead. Throw a few extra people over here. And then these are about halfway done. Very nice. Oh yeah, it hasn't. Well, it hasn't. Okay, that's that's fine. Get an extra person on the grand array, make sure that we're. And then we need. Just need more planks. It's all, it's all we're lacking is planks. Okay, there we go. We got the planks. Oh, no. No, we don't. Because somebody immediately came and picked them up. There we go. There we go. We got the manor finally building. All right, apologies about that. Uh, hot water, uh, or furnace and hot water tank guys uh, showed up and finally getting the hot water tank fixed. Um, note to self, my apartment is retarded. <laughs> it just is, it just is. So, anyways, uh, let's get back to it. Uh, what were we were doing before I got distracted. Uh, okay, so we're starting to run low on iron slabs. I, I say low, you know, that's relative terms. Um, we probably do want to start uh, focusing on getting a colony over here going. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get a settler settlement set up. And do, 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 do. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and get granary, storehouse. We have eight logs. Let me make sure we get the essentials built up as quickly as possible. Hitching post is in a good location, so we're not going to worry about that. And then we'll grow this to about 10, maybe 15 families all total. Um, we're not going to go much bigger than that, and then uh, we'll have domestic food production with the berries and the hunting, and then we'll import stuff from the main from the main town. So let's actually get that going as well. So we can go ahead and do a pack station. How do we want to do this? 
20 goods per trip. Okay. I think a single pack station might be good. Not 100% sure. Okay, I'm guessing something's going on. That's weird. Let's get that. And we'll have to order a mule in order to start shipping stuff over. This is slowly getting stuff transported to it. set up all right it is March so what's our, what's our thing looking like in 72 days with the plowings if we have the extra time. We don't need that right now. We need this. So we need that. We need the food. We don't need a big marketplace for this for this region.
Like policies wise, what can we allow for the winter? Because that's around 50 for two, there's yield for crops. Skip every fifth meal, reduces food consumption. So this, so this place, even though it's gonna be good for growing as well, we'll put that on there. And then I guess we'll just put strict fasting on. And we're getting plenty out of our frugal, so we'll just we'll just go with it. Uh, what are we having problems with? Shoes. Actually, you know what? We can open. Okay, let's send vegetables. Get iron slabs. Because that's what we're gonna be wanting to get from here anyways. So we have the influence. So let's go ahead and claim this region. So Waldbrod will now, as soon as we can start getting iron slab production up and running, which Time to go fight. Alright, cool. Got this. Let's go ahead and get uh, charcoal burning, and then we need to get to level two plots and we're gonna get deep mine unlocked actually you know what ooh that that gives me a reason to put a second one of these as well because this one will send uh will send berries as a food source no, no, we won't send berries. What will we send? Send firewood? Or roof tiles? Oh, wait, no, this can produce a shit ton of roof tiles. So, eh, you know what? No, we won't worry about that. These things are ready, ready to be sown as soon as, as soon as autumn comes around. Okay, we can open up the shoes trade as well. Export. 
how many families do we have? So we'll do max of 60. Good. I wish I could send these tools elsewhere. That's fine. We do need more people living here at some point in time in the future. Charcoal kiln should be like right here. Because this gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It gives us eleven families. We build a s families should be not 100% but should be oh the bandits didn't come out and play Did they? Oh, they did. Okay. I'm just not paying attention. Uh, personal treasury. Gonna need a saw pit.
And we're looking good. All we gotta do is get these extra extra burgage plots down. Please, please get this done. <laughs> like, that's actually hurting our approval. Simply a bad batch. Uh, these things do happen from time to time. Yeah, even with the policy, our approval is 100%, so that's good. Um, get those built up so that we can get the next point which then will give us better deals which will allow us to import stuff without uh, spending a horrendous amount of money. Alright, is all of our construction done? Yes, all the construction is done. Let's get these people over here on logging. We're just waiting for people to start moving in over here. pretty snazzy which is awesome September is about to roll around so we'll have to shift things up a little bit are we trading away the shoes yes yeah, slowly but surely we are So we've, we've now reduced the price of shoes too much, so we need to let that recover. Uh, planks wise, we are fine on. Firewood, uh, let's up this to why. Have, don't have the money. 
Oh, these were level ones. Damn it. Okay, so we, we just need another house. Cobblers. The brewery. Great brewery. So we're starting to get extra people in over here, which is good. Which means we can start assigning jobs. Oh, this this is gonna help us out so much. take all the families off logging and let's get prepped prepped for the harvest and so Let's up this to 30. Let's up this to 30. Actually, you know what? We'll do 40. So we can so we can recover a full unit at any given time. And then a war bow-wise, we need to make sure that we're Alright, cool. Uh, as I get texts from people. Uh, okay, so we have got a bunch of building that needs to be done, but we're looking pretty solid. What about over here? We're looking solid. Everybody, everybody's mostly happy. We just need to get uh, clothing running as well. So let's go ahead and get a tannery down. So that can start going, and then we also need to upgrade this relatively soon. Uh, Fuel-wise, we're looking we're looking good, so we can go ahead and pull pull that family off that. Old Brad, let's get that better deal, which then trade immediately kills, basically kills all of the tariffs. So, like, for example, um, thought we were, thought we were importing something. Oh, uh, barley. Barley used to be 12, now it's effect, it's two. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're starting to, we're gonna really start to make money now. Um, which is good, which is very good. This send firewood receive charcoal. And then the vegetables for the iron slab. Because 
we don't need to set up extra stuff here in order to produce weapons and whatnot. We can just, and since this isn't our primary, uh, primary site anyways, won't matter. Build out a couple of vegetable garden plots just to give them more sustainability. Because we will have Yeah, we're we're basically not gonna go real past this. We we need to get up to deep mining and then that's about it. Actually, it might be might be worth it to turn this into our primary primary military production. So maybe just maybe we don't set this up like this. Or actually, maybe we do. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Starting to harvest. Starting to sow. Get barley on these fields. Come on, guys, we need to get these sewn. Come on. Come on. 